Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show a little quick tip about unhiding the old nodes in Houdini. Uh, I came across this because with Houdini 19's update, the new curve node is no longer supported inside of Unreal Engine as an editable curve. So I wrote to side effects team and they responded back how to get the old curve nodes. So really thanks to them uh, that uh, this uh, video was made possible. And like I mentioned once again, any old node which is discontinued in a new uh, new version, most likely it will show up uh, with this method, uh, with this technique. I've only tested it with curves, but I'm sure there will be a lot of other nodes which have previous versions or which are updated and you can have access to that. So without further ado, let's get started. So I've got Unreal Engine open here and the problem is when you select this Sphere uh, VTIC uh, simple instancer, which is an HDA uh, created from Houdini, we don't see editable curve node uh, to change the position or anything like that. Curve node is an essential part for creating things like bridges, roads, electric pole lines, etc. And with Houdini 19's new curve node, it doesn't come through. Uh, it's not supported currently. And I ended up sending an email to SideFX team and they showed me a really cool trick to have the old curve node back right inside of Houdini instead of going to a previous build of Houdini and copying curve node over from uh, the old file to a new file to make it editable. So if I select this one, which is H19 test, you'll see that I have the curve node uh, editable and uh, available for editing inside of Unreal. So if I move things, the HDA will update. So if I move that, give it a second and it updates. So without further ado, let's jump into Houdini. So as you can see, this is the old curve node, which is working just fine. Uh, this is what we are used to seeing in uh, Houdini 18, 18.5, maybe even in 17, I'm not sure. But let me put down a Geo node. And if I go in there, make uh, these guys invisible and let's put down a curve node. So this is the new curve node. This is what the UI looks like. And if you see closely over here, uh, it's uh, it's like a HDA asset now, uh, it's locked. And if you go inside, you'll see ton of things uh, for the new functionality, right? Uh, this wasn't there in uh, the previous one. I'll show you that in a second. But if I create this node, uh, it works exactly the same, but under the hood, it's different now. So this is what the UI looks like. So um, let me just go to back to the HDA that is there, right? And as you can see uh, the UI is clearly different and it's not a uh, HDA kind of thing. Yes, the icon is same, but uh, the lock icon next to the curve node is gone. So if I put down curve node, right? Uh, this is a new one. See the difference? Uh, lock icon and no lock icon, right? So if I connect this guy over and uh, let's just uh, create a random thing, uh, random curves over here. Now this works just fine in Houdini. Uh, this is specifically if you want to go into Unreal and I'll rename this curve node to edit because in my HDA, if you go to node type, uh, editable nodes is set to edit, uh, which is this guy. So uh, let me just uh, delete that and uh, rename this to edit, right? And right click, uh, I'll save the node type. And if I jump back into Unreal, right click this guy, reimport. And that's reimported and I need to rebuild the HDA itself. And um, as you can see, the shape came through. Uh, how we had uh, made the curves, but the editable curves are gone, right? Now, uh, to get that old uh, editable curve node back, let's select this curve node. What you want to do is go to Windows and Asset Manager, go into Configuration tab and Asset Definition Toolbar down here. Uh, click on this and say Show Always and hit Close. If you see here on the top right corner now, it uh, in the Properties, uh, uh, tab uh, properties thing for the curve node. This new tab came up and if I click here, it shows me the old curve node. So uh, let's just create a new old curve node. So if I create a curve node, by default it created this guy, right? And if I switch it to old curve node, uh, 
all that new interface is gone it's not an hd uh, it's without the lock so it's the old talk node now and now let's create a different shape so you guys know that it's a new one for sure right and if i connect this guy up now and copy the name delete the new curve node and rename the old one to edit make this visible so i've got my spheres there uh, right click save node type go to unreal right click reimport and rebuild the curves uh, i mean rebuild the hea i get uh, the old uh, editable curve types back so uh, i don't know when uh, when and if unreal will uh, sorry side effects guys will update the new curve node to be editable inside of unreal but until that happens uh, this is a workaround which was suggested by them so thank you to uh, team at side effects and uh, that's really my quick tip for today uh, if you like the video please hit like uh, also, please subscribe. Uh, I uh, put uh, these small quick tips when, as and when I come across it or uh, get time to make one. And uh, it's free to subscribe and it helps uh, the channel uh, and uh, keeps me motivated. So thank you for watching the video and until next time. Thank you and bye-bye.